There are several hundred indigenous peoples of Australia, many are groupings that existed before the British colonisation of Australia in 1788. Within each country, people lived in clan groups, extended families defined by various forms of Australian Aboriginal kinship. Inter-clan contact was common, as was inter-country contact, but there were strict protocols around this contact. The largest language group people today are the Anangu Pitjantjatjara who live in the area around Uluru Ayers Rock and south into the Anangu Pitjantjatjara Yankanatjatjara lands in South Australia. The second largest Aboriginal community are the Arerente people who live in and around Emperntwe Alice Springs. The third largest are the Anangu Laricha, who live in the lands between the two largest just mentioned. The Aboriginal languages and dialects with the largest number of speakers today are the Pitjant Jatjara, Warlpiri and Arerente. <laughs> Australian Capital Territory Ngunnawal the Ngunnawal people were the first inhabitants of the area which is now occupied by the city of Canberra and the Australian Capital Territory. They spoke the Ngunnawal language. The city of Canberra is named after the Ngunnawal word Canberra. Many other place names around Canberra are Ngunnawal names, such as Tuggeranong, Jinindera, Murrumbidgee, the suburb Ngunnawal and many road names. <laughs> New South Wales Murawari people, see Murawari Republic and Murawari language. Wiradjuri, largest Australian Aboriginal people group in New South Wales by area, consists of a significant proportion of central New South Wales, see also the Wiradjuri language. Kamilaroi people, Gamilaray language. Northern Territory Aluar Aluar who live northeast of Alice Springs. In 1980 they lodged a land claim, which was handed back to them on the 22nd of October 1992. The size of the land was 2,065 square kilometres 797 square miles. Anmachira Anmachira from an area near Mount Leichhardt, Hahn and Reynolds Ranges, and northeast to central Mount Stewart. Artist Clifford Possum is an Anmachira man. Emily Kingwari was also an Anmachira woman. Arerente The Arerente people speak the Upper Arerente language, and live in the Arerente area of Central Australia. The population of Arerente people living on Arerente land including Alice Springs is estimated at 25,000, making it the second largest of all Central Australian Aboriginal countries, after Pitjantjatjara. In most primary schools in Alice Springs, students of all races and nationalities are taught Arerente or in some cases Western Arerente as a compulsory language, often alongside French or Indonesian languages. Additionally, most Alice Springs high schools give the option to study Arerente language throughout high school as a separate subject, and it can also be learned at Centralian College as part of a TAFE course. Future plans are that it will be included as a university subject. Approximately 25% of Alice Springs residents speak Arerente as their first language. Gurindji Gurindji, who from 1966 to 1975 at Wave Hill Cattle Station had a strike known as the Gurindji Strike. In 1975, the Australian Labour Party government of Gough Whitlam finally negotiated with the Vesties to give the Gurindji back a portion of their land. This was a landmark in the land rights movement in Australia for Australian Aboriginal people to be given rights to their traditional lands. Kunabiji The Kunabiji, or Gunavugi, people live by the Liverpool River in Arnhem Land. They are Aboriginal people and speak the Njebana language. They hunt dugong, turtle and fish. Loricha Loricha is a name used to refer to several dialects of the Western Desert language, and thereby also to the people who speak these varieties, and their traditional lands. The Loricha lands include areas to the west and south of Alice Springs, extending around the edge of Arerente country, which lie roughly between Alice Springs and Uluru. The total population of Loricha people including Papunya Loricha is probably in the thousands making them the third largest of the Central Australian Aboriginal populations. It includes the town of Papunya. Morin Patha The Morin Patha are a small group, living inland from the settlement of Wadai, between the rivers Moyle and Fitzmaurice. Their language, also called Morin Patha, is still spoken by about 900. 
The Morin Patha culture is characterised by typical native Australian social structure, including a complex kinship system with elaborate behavioural norms for interactions between the different kinship groups. Pitjantjatjara The Pitjantjatjara, or Anangu, people are an Aboriginal people of the Central Australian Desert who speak the Pitjantjatjara language. Their influence extends from the area near Uluru in the Northern Territory to the Nullarbor Plain in South Australia. Their language is one of the most widely spoken Aboriginal languages. Tiwa Nearly 2,500 Tiwa people live in the Bathurst and Melville Islands, which make up the Tiwa Islands. Warlpiri Warlpiri is a large group in the Northern Territory. There are 5,000 6,000 Warlpiri, living mostly in a few towns and settlements scattered through their traditional land, north and west of Alice Springs. Their largest community is at Yundumu. Many Warlpiri, unlike people from other Aboriginal language and community groups, do not speak even a word of English. Warlpiri are famous for their tribal dances. Many Warlpiri have toured England, Japan, and most recently Russia, performing their dances. Yolngu The Yolngu inhabit northeastern Arnhem land in Australia. Some Yolngu communities of Arnhem land refigured their economies from being largely land-based to largely sea-based with the introduction of Macassan technologies such as dugout canoes, after the Macassan contact with Australia. These seaworthy boats, unlike their traditional bark canoes, allowed Yolngu to fish the ocean for dugongs and turtles. Some Aboriginal workers willingly accompanied the Macassans back to their homeland across the Arafura Sea. The Yolngu people also remember with grief the abductions and trading of Yolngu women, and the introduction of smallpox, which was epidemic in the islands east of Java at the time. <laughs> Queensland Gugu Yimithar The Gugu Yimithar are another language group. There are still several hundred speakers of the Gugu Yimithar language, mostly living in and around Hopevale, Cooktown, and Wujal Wujal on Cape York Peninsula in northern Queensland. The site of modern Cooktown was the meeting place of two vastly different cultures when, in June 1770, the local Aboriginal Gugu Yimithar people cautiously watched James Cook's crippled sailing vessel, Hum Bark Endeavour, limp up the coast of their territory seeking a safe harbour. The word kangaroo comes from the Gugu Yimitar name for a grey kangaroo, Gangaroo. Kalkadun The Kalkadun people live in the area around Mount Isa in western Queensland. There was fighting between the Kalkadun and police in the 19th century. In 1884, 200 of them were massacred at Battle Mountain in a fight against police. Torres Strait Islanders there are a number of Torres Strait Islander groups inhabiting the Torres Strait Islands between mainland Australia and Papua New Guinea. Topic: <laughs> South Australia. Adnyamathana. The Adnyamathana or Adinyamathana, pronounced, are an indigenous Australian people from the Flinders Ranges. Adnyamathana is also the name of their traditional language. The Adnyamathana are made up of the Kuyani, Whalepi, Yadlyora, Palatapa and Pankala, which are the traditional groups of the northern Flinders Ranges and with the Kokatha the areas around Lake Torrens. The name Adnyamathana means, rock people, and is a term referring to the lake's culture societies living in that area. They share a common identity, which they get from their ancestors, this common bond is their language and culture which is known as Uramuda. Diary the Diary is an Australian Aboriginal group and now extinct language from the South Australian desert, specifically Cooper and Lee Creek, Lake Howitt, and Lake Hope, Lake Gregory and Clayton River and Low Country north of Mount Freeling. The Diary protested the Marie Man geoglyph, saying that it had caused them harm and was exploiting their dreamtime stories. Karna The Karna people have traditional lands in and around the Adelaide Plains. The people lived in independent family structures in defined territories called Pankara. The Kwarna performed circumcision as an initiatory rite and were the southernmost community to do so. The last surviving speaker of Karna as a mother tongue died in 1931. Marilinga Jerucha The Marilinga Jerucha inhabit the remote western areas of South Australia. They are a southern Pitjantjatjara people. 
The Marilinga Jerucha native title land was handed back to the Marilinga people in January 1985 under legislation passed by both houses of the South Australian Parliament in December 1984 and proclaimed in January 1985. Marilinga people resettled on the land in 1995 and named the place Oak Valley Community. The local Aboriginal people were not warned effectively of the explosions from 1950s nuclear testing and many suffered terrible after effects from fallout, although the 1984–1985 Royal Commission could find no evidence of this for the Marilinga Jerucha. Ngarindjeri is the language and traditional Aboriginal people of the Lower Murray River and Western Floru Peninsula. The traditional areas extend from Manum downstream through Murray Bridge and Goolwa and along the coast through Victor Harbour to Cape Jervis to the southwest and around Lake Alexandrina and Lake Albert and the Kurong to around Kingston SE. The Nagarangiri achieved a great deal of publicity in the 1990s due to their opposition to the construction of a bridge from Goolwa to Hindmarsh Island, including a royal commission and a high court case in 1996. There was an Aboriginal legend about a sea creature called the Muljawank which inhabited the Murray River, particularly Lake Alexandrina. Narunga Narunga were people of the York Peninsula, many of which were removed by missions as part of the Stolen Generation. Tasmania 20th century historians previously held that Aboriginal Tasmanians had become extinct with the death of Truganini in 1873, but this is no longer the accepted view. The original population, estimated at from 3,000 to 15,000 people, the rate of genetic drift indicates that the maximum estimate is likely the lower boundary, while archaeological evidence suggests numbers of up to 50,000 was reduced to a population of around 300 between 1802 and 1833, mainly due to the actions of white settlers who came to Australia from the United Kingdom, combined with disease and cultural disruption. The Black War (1828–1832) and subsequent Black Line in 1830 were turning points in the relationship with European settlers. Even though many of the Aboriginal people managed to avoid capture during these events, they were shaken by the size of the campaigns against them. In 1828, Taririnorer or a Punalurpanner woman who had escaped from sealers, became the leader of the Emu Bay people, Attacking settlers with stolen weapons, this is the first recorded use of muskets by Aboriginal people. Manalurjena, the leader of the Ben Lomond people organised guerrilla attacks against British soldiers in Tasmania and in 1835 became the first Aboriginal person in Tasmania to be given a Christian burial. Victoria Gunai the Gunai, or Kurnai, nation live in the area of southeastern Victoria, around Wilson's Promontory, Sale, Bairnsdale, Lakes Entrance, Snowy River and Malakuta. The Gunai people resisted the European invasion of their land. Many were killed in fighting between 1840 and 1850. In 1863 Reverend Friedrich Hagenauer established Ramahyuk Mission on the banks of the Avon River near Lake Wellington to house the Gunai survivors from west and central Victoria. Kulin, the Kulin Alliance is one of the indigenous nations of Australia who lived in central Victoria, around Port Phillip where Melbourne now stands, and Western Port, up into the Great Dividing Range and the Lawton and Goulburn River valleys. It included the Wurundjeri and Bunurong clans. On 6 June 1835 John Batman signed a treaty known as Batman's Treaty with the Wurundjeri people where he purported to buy 2,000 square kilometres 770 square miles of land around Melbourne and another 400 square kilometres 150 square miles around Geelong, on Corio Bay to the southwest. In exchange he gave the eight elders, whose marks he acquired on his treaty, a quantity of Blankets, knives, tomahawks, scissors, looking glasses, flour, handkerchiefs, and shirts. By 1863, the surviving members of the Wurundjeri and other Woiwuring speakers were given permissive occupancy of Corindirk Station, near Healesville. William Barak was the last Nagarungata of the Wurundjeri Willem clan. Bunjil is seen as the culture hero or god of the Kulin people. The Bunurong were referred to by Europeans as the Western Port or Port Phillip group. Yorta Yorta The Yorta Yorta people traditionally lived around the junction of the Goulburn and Murray rivers in present-day northeastern Victoria. 
Family groups include the Bangarang, Kaltheban, Walathiga, Moira, Ulapna, Kwat Kwat, Yalaba Yalaba, and Nagarai Ilyam Waring clans. Their language is generally referred to as the Yorta Yorta language. Prominent Yorta Yorta people include Burnham Burnham and Sir Douglas Nichols. <laughs> Western Australia Jerikan the Jerikan are one of several groups in the north of the state. Nonger The Nonger alternate spellings, Nyunger, Nywunger, are a group of Australian Aboriginal people who live in the southwest of Western Australia from Geraldton in the Midwest to Esperance on the south coast. The population of the Nonger at the time of European arrival was estimated between 6,000 and 10,000. The population in the 2001 census was 21,000. The Belier group encountered English settlers when they arrived in and established the Swan River Colony in 1829. Captain James Stirling declared that the local peoples were British subjects. Although the Nyunger at first traded amicably with the settlers, as time wore on, rifts and misunderstandings developed, and attacks and reprisal attacks grew. This resulted in the death of Yagan, who is now seen by many as one of the first indigenous resistance fighters. The name of Mokair is commemorated for mediating peace between the colonists at King George Sound and his own people, and assisting in the exploration of the region. Many place names in Western Australia are named after Nongar words, especially those ending in up or in ing, both meaning place of in different dialects such as Joondalup, Manjimup, Narogan, and Meriden. Pila Naguru the Spinifex people, or Pila Naguru, have their traditional lands situated in the Great Victoria Desert, in the Australian state of Western Australia, adjoining the border with South Australia, to the north of the Nullarbor Plain. They maintain in large part their traditional hunter-gatherer existence within the territory, over which their claims to native title and associated collective rights were recognised by a 28 November 2000 federal court decision. The Australian Royal Commission was unable to determine if Pila Naguru people had been exposed to damaging levels of radiation from fallout after the nuclear testing near Marilinga in the 1950s. See also References External links Journeys in Time, Australian Aboriginal Tribes A joint project between Macquarie University and the State Library of New South Wales providing researchers and students with documentation from original English settlers, retrieved 16 January 2007. The Kinship Online Learning Module aims to provide a deeper understanding of the richly complex Aboriginal kinship system by learning about the components of moiety, totem, skin names, language and traditional affiliations and individual identity." Copyright 2002-16 The University of Sydney